and welcome, I am your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to review all the videos published in August 2018. Let's begin. So, August started off with the task system from Battle Royale Tycoon. It is a really interesting system used for creating tasks and have workers execute them when possible. We started off by creating a simple task and set up the workers to periodically request the next available task from the system. Then we modify the code to be able to support multiple task types with different executions. After that, we set up a complex task where the workers go to a position, play an animation, and execute an action that was set up in the task itself. Continuing that, we added the ability to validate and queue tasks. We can create a task and periodically test to see if it is valid and able to be executed. Then we put it all together and made a nice complex task to take a weapon into a weapon slot, but validated it so that the worker only executes the task when the weapon slot is empty. There were also several beginner focused videos covering the basic components of Unity and how to interact with them both through the editor and through code. We covered what is a game object, what is a transform along with parent-child relationships, and what is a sprite renderer. Also focused on the basics were two videos related to making a health bar. First, how to create a health bar in the editor, set up the transform so that it works in an easy way, and then how to control it through code. After that, we set it up to construct the entire health bar from code along with some extras like an optional border with color and thickness. This is another very clean class that we can easily drop into any project and make it useful. There was a video on the website update which added suggestions that you can vote on. This helps me figure out what videos to focus on, so if you haven't already, please go there and vote on your favorites. Also started sending out a weekly email containing that week's videos. So if you're worried about YouTube not notifying you when new videos go live, this is a great way to catch up and see what you might have missed. The current most voted suggestion is with regards to a save system. Related to that, there was a video covering what is JSON, how it's formatted, how Unity has some helper functions to deal with it, and how we can use it for setting up a very simple save system. On the subject of a save system, there was a video on how to save and load using the player preps. This is part of a series of videos where we will later use JSON and file saving to create a nice, robust, but simple save system. A quick video on taking our previous time tick system and cleaning up the code to have a very nice and simple clean class. We can easily copy paste the final class into any project and use it. Then we continue the gather AI that we started in the previous month. First by cleaning up our code with a dedicated resource node object to keep track of resource amounts and when the node is depleted. Then we added player control to be able to order a worker together from a specific node. With that code, we then added support for multiple workers, so we can have many workers independently gathering from different nodes. We then added multiple resource types to our system, so we can now gather wood and gold, but set up the code in such a way that adding more resource types is extremely easy. And finally, a short quick tip video for how to drag multiple items into the inspector. I want to make many of these short videos covering some very simple but helpful tips that you might not be aware of. So that was it for the month of August 2018. I hope you found the videos helpful and learned something along the way. If you have any questions regarding any of the videos, feel free to post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.